You can. What's your name? Um, my name's Craig. Craig? Some people call me Turtle. Turtle? Why do they call you Turtle, Craig? Because you're bad. Oh, because you're bad. <laughs> yeah. And Craig, how old are you? Uh, 41 now. Yeah, and so to get uh, okay, in the homeless shelter, it's $25? Yeah, yeah it, okay. depends, it depends on which Depends on which one you go to, but yeah. the one I go to is twenty five dollars a night. You get a bed, a meal, a shower, and you can wash your clothes. So um, it doesn't matter whether you're staying at St Vincent de Paul one or some uh, Salvation Army one; they all cost money. Right. Yeah. And I always thought it was free. Well, that's what I used to think when I first became homeless. I thought, oh, there must be a free homeless shelter, but there's no such thing. How long have you been homeless? Over, over nine years, closer to ten, I think. Nearly ten years? Yeah. On the street for ten years? Yep. And how did you become? Uh, well, long, to make a long story short, yeah. I, um, I met a girl. I had everything going for me, um, working as a bartender. Uh, then I met a girl from a country town, a place called Sale. When we got together, she convinced me to go to live with her. You know, so I was like, okay quit my job, left my flat, spent all my money moving there to be with her. Right. Uh, she turned out to be really violent, was hitting me all the time. And I could, I mean, I could deal with her hitting me, but it got worse and worse, and then she ended up stabbing me with a screwdriver, so I broke it off with her, came back to Melbourne and had nothing to come back to. No job, no money, no. Right. How have you survived for 10 years on the streets? I barely, I barely survived. Like, I'm... Um, most, most days I have to walk around and ask for change just to get food or shelter, or shelter for the night. Food I don't have too much trouble getting, like there's lots of, because I've been homeless so long around here, lots of shops know me and all that, give me free coffee, right. maybe a bit of food if I need it. But when it comes down to accommodation, the only way I, I'll get a room is if I can ask enough people to um, change them, make up the 25. And most nights I don't make that. Right, well, so what happens when you can't raise enough money to get a, a well, room in the I actually shop? sleep in an alleyway, two alleyways down from here. Yeah. So if you go around this corner here, uh, not the next alleyway, but the alleyway after. I sleep yes. in that one most nights. So how do you sleep? Um, well, you actually kind of don't sleep. Yeah, I tell mean, me about the experience of sleeping in an alleyway. Well, like I said, it's not really a sleep, it's more of a you kind of doze because like, um, you've got to be aware um, of being attacked or uh, being robbed or anything so you kind of like you'll doze off for 15 20 minutes wake up look around make sure you're not and that's your sleep all night every 20 minutes you're waking up have you been attacked oh, heaps of times heaps of times when was the last time you were attacked <sighs> well about a week ago but i don't know it wasn't an attack an attack. I, I had a bottle thrown at me while I was asleep. Um, it didn't hit me, mm. but it landed right next to me. Um, but I, I've, I've had the crap kicked out of me. I've had people almost piss on me. I've had I've woken up to people getting photos taken with me. Um, like, uh, what else? I've, had, I've woken up to guys standing over me just staring at me. And like, that scared the hell out of me. Like, I didn't know what he was going to do. Craig, do you have any family? Friends who can help you? Um, all my good friends have either died or moved overseas. Uh, when it comes to family, I've got family here in Melbourne, but not that I can turn to for help. They can't give you a room? They can't give you no. shelter? Any help at all? No, I'm the, I'm the oldest and I'm the only boy, so it's kind of like you're on your own. Craig, what are your prospects? What are you going to do? You're 41, you're a, you're yeah, a well, really young I'm, man. I'm just got to keep waiting and waiting for housing and, you know, just keep at it until I get that break, you know. What, what, what is a break? What does a break I don't know, like for my name to come up for housing and, um, like, cause you're, you're on waiting lists and, you know, they work on priority, so I have no mental problems, no drug problems and no kids, so I'm not what they class as high risk or high priority. So it's just a matter of waiting. What about no, what about work? Is there any prospects well, of work, work? Work kind of. Since uh, you were a bartender at one point. Yeah, it used to be. Um, problem is with work. First of all, no one wants to hire you when you're homeless. Second, even if you do find someone who's willing to hire you, the thing is you can't really sleep in an alleyway, get up in the morning, and go to work. You know, you got to be able to shower, wash your clothes, eat, 
sleep all before you go to work. So without that, without a roof over your head, nothing else works. It's it. So what are you going to do for the rest of today? You just walk around, ask for change, and try and make enough money for the room. Do you normally uh, stay in the city, or do you branch out to other places? Well, well. I sleep in the city most nights, right. um, unless I'm making up for the homeless shelter, and then I go to a place in Hawthorne. Thank you sound very educated. Can you tell yeah, me about your well, education? educated enough, but like I said, that works against me, being homeless. So, yeah, the more screwed up you are, the more help you get, really. Food, I don't have that much trouble getting. It's just the accommodation. Yeah, with food, what, you, you, you know people in the area? And yeah, I've built up relationships over the years with shops, and I mean people that live around the area know me, and, Stuff like that, so they're always um oh the they call me either turtle or the polite homeless guy. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. But mainly um, it's just shelter at night and finding a place. Yeah, that. Look, it all comes down to getting a roof over your head yeah. at night. What about winter? The winters are brutal. Yeah, very brutal. How do you how do you well, sleep um, on the street the, in the winter? Yeah, just what do you call it? Pretty much when it comes to winter, you don't even lay down at night. What, I used to, before COVID, um, when it was winter, I'd walk all night um, just to keep warm. Because while you're moving, you, you know, you've got, you're keeping your heat going. So yeah, well, um, I'd walk all night and then wait for the, the library just across the road to open, then go sit in there most of the day and get some sleep in there. And then, you know, when they are about to close, get up, back out there, walk all night. But the library's been closed for ages now with COVID, so 